Grande, look at that one. Yeah, wow. Welcome to, to the, the Joe, Joe Show. Show. The Joe Show with Lynx. Tonight, the Young Offenders join us live in studio. Music from Owen McElhenney. And you at home have two chances at winning 1,000 euros. My name's Owen. I'm Paddy McKenna, and there's our audience! It's such a beautiful look. I think, like last week, we had a very, very sweaty audience, but so I think there's about, there's about 97 people here in the studio. There's this more evening. fans this week. Yeah. I mean, the ones that go round and round, obviously. Exactly. These people are fans, they hate there's us. There's some strange smells wafting <laughs> over here. But uh, we've already given you a sneak peek of what's coming up at the start of the show, but do you know what else we have? What? This. Mm. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I don't, that's a, that's I don't really know what's that, that that will be much better later on yeah. when the rest of it is there. We promise, most definitely. Now we've also got uh, we tried something new last week, yep. mainly because we had tech issues the week before. But we decided to give away two thousand euro on the show. Uh, so we played our game one thousand to one twice, and we thought it worked so well. Why don't we give it another go this week? Yeah, let's do it, man. So I completely forget how the game works. So here's a wee reminder. We picked a number between 1 and 1,000. You have to guess within 20 either side to win. But here's a hint, it's a number from the news. It is indeed a number from the news. If the technology works, we should be joined on the line Everything by Michelle. Crossed. Michelle, are you there? Hello there, Michelle. It is I Michelle. Am. Hey, How's everybody in the studio, say hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> We've got a lot of people here, Michelle. It's so hot here this evening. But uh, where are you this evening, Michelle? And is it hot where you are? I'm in Istanbul. She's in Istanbul? What, what? Is there, I think it's Istanbul. All the way Istanbul. from Istanbul. Yay, it's our, it's our big Turkish <laughs> contingent. Uh, do you know how 1,000 to 1 works? Massive in Turkey. I do. Okay, so we need you to pick a number between 1 and 1,000. 20 either side or the number itself. And you've won for yourself 1,000 euros in cold hard cash. Taxman can't touch that. Nobody, As we said last week, nobody tax, can touch probably, that. probably, probably uh, can't touch Don't pick under 20. Some people do. It's pointless because we can't do negative numbers. So, Michelle. Have you got your, have you got your number between one and a thousand? Tell us, what is it? It's 100. 100. 100. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, so, just to oh, remind, if it's... A lot of fans at the number 100 if it's, tonight. If it's, the number, if it's the number itself or 20 either side, you've won for yourself 1,000 euros in cold hard cash. Owen Doherty. Michelle, yes, Patrick McKenna. <laughs> Michelle, I can tell you that this is the number in thousand that people in Croke Park for U2, who wrote this? It's the number of people who were in Croke Park for the U2 gig. It was 78,000. You were so close. Oh, oh no. Two off, Two winning off. a thousand euro. Michelle, I'm really sorry. We are oh. going to play the competition again and you're more than welcome to uh, play the competition yeah, later on no, as well. No, we <laughs> will send you out a Lynx Care package. There Look it is that. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a not so oh, bad. Close as good as a thousand uh, euro. We will as well oh, be giving somebody else, as, as I mentioned, a, a chance euro. to win a thousand euros. Thanks, Michelle, for playing. We'll send you out our Links Care package. Everyone say uh, bye to Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Bye. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, to qualify to play the game, all you have to do is tag your friends in the comments below. We'll be calling back somebody before the end of the show, and you could be in with the chance of winning a thousand euros. All you need to do, people, if everybody could just join hands, this helps genuinely people to win the it money. Does. It helps join hands. At home. Let's hold hands together hold and hands. let's all chant. Hold hands. Even I know the people you, you don't yet. know. <laughs> tag and hold win. Hands. Tag <laughs> and win. There's a lot tag of and win. win. Tag and win. win. There's this a lot of. Uh, what it is is. I hey, settle down, settle down. It's just a lot of people holding hands and, uh, you know, basically a, using their favourite chat A few new relationships started there in the crowd, like everyone just take it easy. All, all right, right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will we bring on our first guest? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to welcome two of Ireland's Hottest acting properties, and not just because they're about to go into the hottest studio in Ireland. So they are so so, so hot. Before we bring them out, let's have a quick look at the brilliant, the Young Offenders. 
if you're under the age of 16, you're classified as a young offender, which basically means you can't get in trouble. For some reason, they thought that our brains weren't developed enough or something, like, you know, that we wouldn't know what we were doing or something. I know, it's stupid, isn't it? Spicy. <laughs> Now look, I got you this fool you don't. That's gonna be sticky. Now I've had a bad fucking day. I'm over the fence. I got kicked by a young fat. And I shot an elbow. And what are you doing? I'm calling the guards before the drug dealer arrives. Oh, no, you can't! Who's gonna cover your days off in the shop when I'm being raped in prison? You're young offenders. You'll end up in a juvenile detention centre. Yeah, there's rapists there too, they're just a bit younger. Please give a very, very roast and warm Joe Show welcome to Alex Murphy and Chris White. Yes, Alex, how are you getting on? Alex and Chris. Now, I don't think our uh, welcome to the show. First of all, Thank thanks you for very coming much. in. Thanks for having thanks. us. Now uh, you make yourselves comfortable. I don't know. Uh, th did anybody recognise the two lads? <laughs> no, nobody. No, no one's been... seen the movie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Have, Have you seen the film? Yeah. 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 Do you like the film? Yeah. yeah. You see, everybody loves the film. Um, um, you're welcome to the hottest studio in Ireland. We've said yeah. that already. Yeah. You guys know how to cope with heat, though. It's a uh, chalk, chalk ice down the pants. Down so it's... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. his, his trick. Yeah. yeah. Does it work? Yeah, do it right now. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you look so happy. Don't make a mess in the carpet there, will you? But yeah, as we said, thanks a million for coming in. Obviously, Young Offenders was out last year, and I think released in the UK just at the start of this year as well. Are you still? A, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I read it on the internet, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, are you still kind of blown away by the reaction that the film gets? Because I think it's overwhelmingly positive, isn't it? Yeah, especially since it's come out on like Netflix. It's like people around the world have started watching, and you'd be getting messages off people and. Like yeah, literally Mexico and all over the place, yeah. Mexico, Argentina, Ross people. Ross Common. Love the movie. It's a weird one. They put on Netflix and Ross Common. No way. Have you actually? How many times have you watched it on Netflix? Have you sat down there? Uh, he goes home every night. Like after, <laughs> <laughs> after a session, he'll tell me he was like, "Oh, I came back last night. We're watching a film." Because you know, like people that are in bands, they bring home. Ladies, and then they play their own music. Is that is that something you might yeah. consider? Like, uh, <laughs> just gonna stick on a movie here. It's yeah. no big deal, you know. Uh, oh, there I am. Portable DVD player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In coppers, I like it. Um, well, have you found since the film's been released, are you been recognised a lot more? I know people were saying, obviously, your hair is a little bit longer now, but uh, have you noticed kind of an uptake in people kind of shouting at you in the streets and stuff? Yeah, we were saying it's it's kind of funny. Like when you're by yourself, you kind of get recognised. Like the odd time, like like sometimes I usually when I'm coming back, like because I'm living in London. When I come back from London, I'll usually get recognised at the airport. But like I remember there was one time, there was this this I was sitting next just to some random fella, and and this old woman was with her grandson, and and he recognised me, and then she asked me. And she's like, oh, it's the fella from the movie, the fella. She hadn't seen it at all, but then everyone on the plane started like, looking at me, like expecting <laughs> it, and no one knew who I was except for this. And this other fella got dragged into the, the commotion as well, and he wasn't in it at all. Like, but <laughs> everyone, everyone was like, you know what? He, was, he wasn't he's even on your show. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's doing. But I think it's, it's our silhouettes, usually, isn't it? When well, we're together. Yeah. The shape of us gives it away. Tall and small. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you mentioned that the movie's be obviously on Netflix, and a lot of people here have seen it. My mom has seen it on Netflix, which now you know that you've made it when moms are yeah. yeah. Irish moms Big are watching. Watching uh, Young Offenders, but what about like famous fans? Is there anybody that's got in touch to say like uh, in Irish life or internationally yeah. to say they've watched the movie? I say the one that I was quite happy with was Killian Murphy. He 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 had great things to say about yeah. it, which I mean, growing up and kind of watching everything he's been in, it's just kind of mad yeah, to think yeah, he's, he's pretty good at acting, isn't he? He, yeah. Yeah. He's he does acting thing. very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but who, who who Bono asked for a copy before it was released? Really? Yeah, yeah, then we tried to get tickets this weekend, and he was like, nah. <laughs> 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 he didn't return the, like, the like, favour. They forget so quickly, <laughs> don't they? They're just yeah. like, you yeah. know. Uh, oh, yeah. um, now, obviously, one of the really big exciting stories from the last couple of months, even on Joe just watching how popular you guys were after the movie, was the news that you guys have got yourselves a brand new TV show for the young offenders. Uh, <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this? It's happening, seriously. Um, so what's happening? What stage are you guys at? Have you started filming or where? when can we expect to see something? Now we're in first week of rehearsals, two more weeks, then we start filming it. We're getting the haircuts next week. And yeah. uh, people keep asking us if we started filming. I think people would be so not. disappointed <laughs> if we came back and this was the... But yeah, we started, we started rehearsals on Monday, that last Monday. And um, was it two weeks, eh? Yeah. So yeah. 
Have you got obviously the haircuts are coming back, the mustaches as well? Yeah, the mustaches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. white fronts. Yeah. Are you you're bringing those back as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think <laughs> I think I think Peter was Adamant. actually talking to costume the other day and was like, yeah, we have to get them back. <laughs> adamant, yeah, adamant. Definitely. And what about uh, obviously the new TV series is coming up and that's going to be broadcast on both BBC and I think is it RT yeah, yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. it's co-production, yeah. And do you think, is there any talk of like a sequel for the film as well or is it just going to be left at the TV I series? greedy there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would watch yeah. a sequel well, as well like, as the TV series. Because like The Inbetweeners, which yeah. you know yeah. some people have drawn comparisons to, they had uh, a movie and then a sequel. Yeah. And yeah, the yeah, sequel yeah, was yeah. brilliant. Like sequel, I know the classic, oh, sequel can't be as good, but like, I don't know. No, we're making it. a musical now, it's coming out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Hansard uh, wrote the score. Yeah, I think yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. definitely going to work. Yeah, well, Chris, that. you mentioned uh, you were over in London recently. Obviously, you're traveling back and forth yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. college. But uh, we heard, uh, did you have your first public paid performance just recently? No, I wish it was paid. No, <laughs> it was, uh, no, it was our second year at drama school. So we do our first public show. So yeah, we did. Um, I was at the Comedy of Errors and I played. Um, a female prostitute, an old man, and a goldsmith. So I was going <laughs> in and out of like just jumping testing between testing my How ranges. How is your, yeah. your old man, actually? Hmm? How is your old man? <laughs> my dad, is he? <laughs> How, is, How is he, actually? Yeah, keep him My old man. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 <laughs> he's grand. Yeah, he's good old he's man. Grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, actually? Would you, uh, how's your old man? He's good. <laughs> yeah, I would just feel bad yeah, if I didn't ask him. I think him he's still at yeah, work yeah. now, yeah. 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 Like, what's the difference between, like, like, is there moments where you have to get into the, the headspace of, a prostitute versus an old man versus a goldsmith. Like, there's are techniques that you employ to yeah, get into that. Yeah, it was method, obviously. Method, <laughs> obviously, yeah. yeah. De Niro. But, no, it was, uh, it, yeah, it, it was literally because, it was purely because there's not, we, our, like, class group was 28, so it was divided into three. There was three plays, so it was just lack of people. So they were like, you do all of them. So, uh, so you're literally going, like, from one to the other straight away. But it's great fun, like, I love that. It's good. But it's so nice to be able to play, like, because we played with the prostitute as, as a woman as well. So it was going from this to that to the... So Mrs. Doubtfire's But style. you've missed it now. So. <laughs> yeah. And what about, uh, obviously, you're going to be filming the next series of, uh, of Young Offenders, the brand new series. What else is coming up after that? Have you any plans for, or is it just back to college? No, uh, back to college now in September. I'm in the Lears and I'm living in Dublin. Loving that, but uh, it's, you can't really plan these things. Things happen, see happens, yeah. but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Oh, Chris, because I saw you, I think you were tweeting about Dunkirk, speaking of Killian Murphy. Yeah, uh, yeah, Because yeah, you got yeah. a chance to see that, and lots of young Irish and British actors working in that. Yeah. Those kind of projects, would you be interested oh, in? Oh, I tell you, I remember when I saw Dunkirk, was like, being, just like reading the premise, and like Christopher Nolan's like my favourite director, well, aside from Peter Full. Um, <laughs> of course. But, but like, I remember reading the premise and just like seeing, like, it was literally all young fellas, like, like a lot of the cast is just straight out from drama school and there's various, but, but like, I was yeah, really jealous. And that's was, a good like, sign whenever, wish, like, yeah. whenever you have all these Irish actors, like Barry Cohan and all these yeah, other yeah. people, and it's, they're all playing not Irish people. So it just means we're not all being. Yeah. Kind of stuck in Ireland, which is nice. Yeah, we're but spreading. in saying that, like we were mentioning Game of Thrones earlier on, and obviously a lot of people are talking about Game of Thrones at the minute. And if you want to upset an audience, tell them you're about to talk about what happened last <laughs> night on Game of Thrones, <laughs> yeah. all right? Or, or, that comes or later. guests either. We're not going to do that. We will talk about Game of Thrones a little bit later on. But like, I think there's something about like obviously a lot of Irish actors have been in Game of Thrones. There's something about the look, the Irish look, that suits say like the Night's nice Watch, for instance. Yeah. Uh, pasty skin. I thought you said the Nice Watch. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice Watch. <laughs> How's your old man? How's his Nice Watch? <laughs> Um, <laughs> is Game of Thrones something that either of you boys would be obviously interested? But is there is there something that you'd love to be a part yeah, of like that? I wouldn't sure, turn yeah. it down like yeah, the game yeah. knocking. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll no, see. Definitely. Do an Ed Sheeran on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> it's just how well it? how well like everything yeah, like Irish films doing at the moment. And like like you said, you said Barry Barry Keoghan there is like he's a fellow young one of that young lads in Dunkirk. Yeah. But he's gone off done mad films recently and so he's just doing so well and it's just kind of yeah it's great to see well speaking of future roles as well uh, there was some news during the week that James McAvoy wants to play one of the O'Donovan yeah. brothers um, but obviously they're two young lads from Cork you're two young yeah. lads play lads from Cork so are they young be, lads? <laughs> yeah, they, they are yeah yeah young. Young. This, is <laughs> what, well, this is what we were talking about yesterday and, and it, we were literally it was, it was his sister said it, it was like yeah, James McAvoy wants to play one of them and stuff. And we were like, no, they can't play that. I mean, like, I love James McAvoy. I think he's, like, one of my favourite actors. He's amazing. But I was like, he's too old. Like, they need to get two young lads from Cork who can play. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only there were two. I'm probably going for it now. If that's happening, where, 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 where are the fellas for it? You kind of fit the profile physically as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah. He's Gary and I'm... Yeah, the no. other. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done your research. Oh, yeah, 
Can him. Paul. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we had Aoife Dooley and Enya Martin on. They're two brilliant female yeah. comics. They're going to be in the Vodafone Comedy Festival this week. We're asking them about Tinder because mm. they were telling us that they've had this. It's a standard thing. It's like people that have the same opening Tinder line and they just, it's a terrible act, but they cut and paste it into every conversation, no matter what the situation. So just Somebody wondering. laughed in the crowd, <laughs> which means that they definitely, definitely do it's that. A, gu as well. a guilty, a very <laughs> guilty laugh. Um, <laughs> Any weird moments in, in Tinder, like any, any strange chat up lines or, or lines that you thought, that's novel, that's interesting, that's a little bit different. I've never been on Tinder, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what are you saying? Like, <laughs> just trying to find out if you're on Tinder. You know? <laughs> Sorry, man. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm taken too, so you just be getting me in trouble, so. I'm not really. <laughs> no, Tinder, oh, I just want to put that on the record. Yeah. Neither of the boys have Tinder, no one thing about it. No. Yeah. Um, no, well, look, at, we, we want, you did mention you two. Yeah. yeah, and we're sorry to bring them up again, uh, yeah, yeah, seeing as Bono didn't give me those tickets, because I was going to ask, are you fans? And you used to be, but obviously... Yeah. Oh, I actually in. liked him, but that's why it hurt so much. Right? It, <laughs> it, it especially hurt. Yeah, yeah. But uh, was anybody at the U2 gig at the weekend there? <laughs> yeah, a few people. Was it good? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Paddy One was lady. at it. I was there, man. I was there. I was, was there. It was really good, yeah. Well, I'm very much like... Uh, pro, bo pro bono, pro bono. Uh, I think he's, uh, <laughs> it's slightly different. I don't he think that's gets, what it means. I mean, he gets, a, he gets a bit of bad press, but like. Well, I think obviously Bono had seen what Coldplay did a couple of weeks before. They put on a spectacular show, and he's like, "Anything Coldplay can do, we can do better." Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, debatable, yeah. No, this lady was there. Did you um, sicken all your friends by posting lots of stuff on social media? Because this is the thing now, like, she's, she's staying very stoic. Um, like, you can't go to a gig now unless you want to uh, incite hideous FOMO for everybody at home by posting all across social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it works, and Snapchat. Though, I it does. It's really bad. Actually. Oh, I get it really so, bad. It's like, hashtag yeah, best yeah, gig yeah, in the world yeah. ever. Hashtag I'm here. You're sat at home watching Miriam with your ma. That's basically what it is. <laughs> That's what people are going for, is it's just to incite show, as much show. FOMO as possible. But um, I think most people, even if they weren't at the gig, probably by Sunday night felt with social media that they were. But if you miss the FOMO, so FOMO, FOMO, this is inception like layers of FOMO. Uh, here is probably the defining moment on, because I was there myself, I can say one of the greatest <laughs> gigs of all time. Uh, <laughs> rubbing it in, this is you 2 with their incredible version of one live at Crow Park last Saturday night. Check it out. That looks I was incredible. there, man. It was absolutely amazing. We know you were there. We know you were there. It's really depressing though, seeing all the phones. It's like, oh. I mean, <laughs> I'd probably do it as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's about creating an atmosphere, like, you know, just get the phone out, like, you know, do what Bono tells Paddy's you. Paddy's taking a very personal I'm pro Bono. I think I've already personally. established that. Well, that's like, because I wasn't there, I wasn't, uh, obviously, I had severe phone when Paddy was just sending those to me directly. But uh, as well as that, I spotted something else that happened at the gig that night. I actually spotted it up on Joe, and this was by far my favourite moment. So they obviously took a photo of the crowd. Thousands of people gathered in Crow Park. Everybody was smiling and enjoying it, apart from one guy who was giving the fingers to Bono on stage. What? So we want to see to if Bono. you can spot, I know, the cheek of him. But uh, we want to see if you can spot the guy giving the fingers to Bono and the rest of the boys and you too. Take a look at this. All right, okay. Take a good look there. All right. Lots of hands in the air. In. Has anybody got him? Chris, <laughs> you're, you, have you seen him? You're allowed to see, you see him, that's right. Yeah. You've got him? you got him? There's one guy There's... smiling. <laughs> no, 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 we're not I'll pointing that out, Chris. I'll tell you who you don't no. see is Chris. Chris is there. <laughs> Definitely not. So did you get him all right? Yeah, I got him, yeah. yeah. Okay, so where was he? Give us some idea of where he was on geographically on the on the picture. Bottom left. Bottom left. Let's just take a look. Bottom left. Let's see if you're right. Let's go, let's put in there. The yeah, there and there he is. is. In the <laughs> so we're looking at that smug face. Bonjour birthday girl though, and she big, seems lovely. A big bonjour to the birthday girl as She's well. behind her, she's like 90. There's a fake Bono up the top corner. There is a fake Bono. He's got the same glasses on up in the top yeah. left. 
Uh, so yeah, know? big thanks to everybody who went to the he club looks, party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks really like just like whatever, you know. I don't. Although somebody point out if he's American, that's that's the peace sign. That's like he's I trying to be sound like, that, you know. No, it's. I think I think is that someone's having you on. You just don't want to see anything bad in the U2 gig. Peace, peace. Exactly. Do you like do you like pushing the boat out in foods? Are you adventurous with foods? Oh, you're gonna make us taste something. No, 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 no. Because in the immortal words of Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. It's time to get your freak on. Freak on. Freaky food. Yeah. Freaky food. That's disgusting. <laughs> it is. It is disgusting. Now, uh, the freaky foods this week were so freaky that we do have to issue a health and safety warning. Uh, and we had to road test it first. So um, these are two kind of sour sweets, massive gobstopper things. One's called Warheads and one's called Black Death. So you know they're, uh, they're pretty tasty. Uh, so we did road test it earlier on in the week. <laughs> You're ready for this. But uh, take a look at this as people sampled them initially in the Joe office. So we've been told one of these sweets here is very sour. And one of them is the most sour sweet known to mankind, even more sour than Theresa May eating uh, sweet and sour chicken. Sweet, that's pretty sour. If I were to guess, I'd say that's the really sour one. They just look more imposing. How about this one? You want that one? Yeah. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh, this is... This is sour, yeah. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Mine feels like I'm eating a tiny lemon. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Cheers. Oh, for sake. I don't feel so good. Has he? No way. Has he got the worst one? <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> I'm, going yeah. keep, I'm going to keep sucking it and see what happens. I have to try it. Suck it and see. What, what are you going to oh, do with that green Jesus, one? man. That is on a different level of fairness. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're hiding it. I'm little. trying to, like, it, <laughs> it's menacingly sour in my mouth. <laughs> I think I've melted some teeth. Mine can't work. I keep moving. I keep, I keep moving. <laughs> this is disgusting. I can't. It's sick. <clears throat> what? Ah! It gets better. Don't take it out. I can't handle it, man. I was here I for you. <laughs> no, but now you've got to, you're not putting those back in the jars. Oh, God. You can't, uh, like, my mouth feels like it's never going to be the same again, right now. Yeah, I'm afraid. I don't want to spend the rest of my life not knowing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's horrible. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, it's getting nice now. It actually yeah. tastes nice now. I'm having a good time now. Mm. But, but at least someone else. That's like a drug. I was like off my bin for a minute there. It, it feels like your mouth is shrinking. Yeah, it does. It's just like... <laughs> it's foaming. Why is it foaming? <laughs> I'm like a, a rabid dog. <laughs> my mommy's going to kill me. She's like, don't speak with your mouth, Bob. A lot of nervous it people here intense, in the audience. Man. A lot of it was it was really really intense. I think it burned okay. off the top three layers of my tongue. Uh, a few basically. people said they had blisters on their tongue after they tried this. This is uh, this is the Black Death. Black so Death. we've we've actually just put the warheads to one side because they're child's play. They're only <laughs> yeah. they're only this is yeah. atomic bomb. They're the ones Patty So tried. let's go into our audience because there's a few brave lads in there. They reckon <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I can't remember who was the guy again that said that he wouldn't have any issue with it whatsoever. <laughs> This guy, this guy, all right, okay. Um, well, hang on, I'll just get this microphone here, Shane, if you can. What's your name, sir? Uh, Podge. Podge? <laughs> Sounds like a man that can handle anything that he puts in his mouth. Is that right, Podge? <laughs> All right, yeah. I didn't mean that to sound so smutty. Did, you know, but... All right, do you want to try it? Uh, I'm warning you, this is not easy, but go for it. This is the Black Death, this is Podge. Where are you from, Podge? Uh, awfully. Awfully. Say your prayers, Podge, here we go. Look at that. Podge, how you feeling, buddy? <laughs> she starts off fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's looking to swallow. Okay, well, okay. No, no, he's doing it. Podge is doing all right. Let's just come, right. We'll come back to Podge in a second. Sorry, what's your name? Emer. Emer, where are you from? Kildare. Emer's from Kildare, all right. So, off in Kildare. Do you want it? Will you go for one? I go on. Go on, Emer. Go, go on. Emer. 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 
Beamer's doing all right, yeah. How's Podge getting on? This than we were. <laughs> How's Eamon? Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> okay, um, we will try. Do you want to? Anybody else for uh, anybody else? This man over here. Oh, yeah. Grab yeah. one. Come on. Get in there. Anybody else for a black death? Uh, let's. Uh, okay, this man back here. Anybody else? This man here. Come on. Get stuck in. No, he. Oh, he's refusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the shame. Now we were told. We were warm beforehand. Hang on. We get one down here as well. Come on, ladies. Come on. Grab in. Get in. Uh, we were warned. We were warned beforehand that Director Mick is intensely afraid of the idea of putting one of these in his mouth. So look at. We said. No mercy to Mick, because it's time to make Mick do our chance. Hang on, I put down my microphone in here into our control room. Sorry, lads. I want to come on through here if we can. Ian, can you, can you fuck Mick? I know you said you didn't want to, man, but come on. You're going to go for it? Here he is. No. Director Mick, come on. No. Mick, come on. You can't say it's we're on national <laughs> Facebook here. You can't, you can't <laughs> shirk. Mick, 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 Mick. Yeah, he's doing all right. All right. Uh, Round of applause for everybody who took on the Facebook <laughs> The Gobstopper Challenge. Very quick, got to check in with uh, Podge. How are you doing? How are you getting on, Podge? Uh, like it's around after it. It's like, you know, like I always say, once you get in your mouth for the first time. Podge is he's... <laughs> that was smutty. Uh, Emer, how's your mouth? Grand, once you get past the first bit, it's fine. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, Emer and Podge, amazing. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Yeah, I'm actually, the audience did a lot better than the people They're in way video. better than we were. No, uh, Chris and Alex don't want to feel left out, so do you should want to I, should, 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 Chris and, should Chris and Alex do it if everybody else did it? I think so. Even I think so. should Chris and Alex do it if everybody They're nodding. All right, okay, let's get stuck in here. I've got my, I think Chris is going to be fine, but I think Alex is... <laughs> Cheers, man. Try one of the blue ones. That's, that will. <laughs> All right. Where do we put it? I'm not going to finish it. You eat the full thing. Cheers. All right, here we go. I choked. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> look at their little faces. That's lovely. How are you getting on? Go. How are you feeling, Alex? I mean, it's not fun, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely done more fun things. Chris, you're all right, aren't you? That's, you're, pretty, you're pretty tough, man. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's acting. I think he's acting. <laughs> all right, listen, we're going to leave it there with the lads, and we'll, we'll let you, you, we'll, we'll you off, compete yeah. with that, all right? Um, <laughs> no, you'll, we... stay our, you'll, stay our you'll stay on our couch. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> The tears oh, are coming out. <laughs> now, as we've already seen, there are lots of sick people in the audience this evening. So many But we wanted people. to find out just how sick they actually were. So we asked them a couple of questions for our wonderful confession box. Have you seen on. this? This is amazing. This, this is, is our confession. It's our, our magic. favorite toy. It's our... <sighs> it's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> Paddy gets to have loads of fun with this every week. So we did ask him... Here, man, try it. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. So we did ask him just for... It doesn't work for... Does it? It doesn't work for all of So we asked him two, two questions. Uh, two questions? See, yeah, so here we go. So the first question was, have you ever got into trouble with the guards or the PSNI for something daft all that right. you did? So let's see. No, that's the wrong one. Try that one. No, I'm give me this one. Let's see. No, that's still the wrong Try one. That here one. we go. Here we go. This is the one. OK, after coppers one night, uh, I really needed to go to the toilet, so I jumped over a fence to do a wee. That's fine. Turns out it was a fence into the Garda oh, headquarters. No. Got arrested for <laughs> trespassing and spent four hours in a cell. So let's see. Activate the confession cam. Yeah, let's see. Confession Activate cam. Activate the confession like, cam. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, there's a man, no, there's a man in, the in the back. He's sweating go in the right, back. Go right, go right, go right there. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know if he's sweating because he's guilty or because he's still choking oh, on a bit of black I death there. Definitely it's the black he death. He does look like the kind of man that would actually break into the garden station that's beside <laughs> coppers on Harper Street. <laughs> uh, we also asked audience, have you ever broken something at a friend's house and then not told them. Oh, so sneaky. Uh, the person here says, I once broke my friend's bed with his sister. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I'll say no more. Podge. That's got Podge written all okay. over it. OK, who is it? That's who it is. It's not. Hang on. There it is. There it is. is there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, and one more before the road. OK, OK. <laughs> One for the road, have you ever broken something at a friend's house and then not told them? I fell into someone's shower and tore the shower curtain and then continued to sleep. Passed out there when found we are no longer friends. No longer friends. The There's kind of man that would rip a shower curtain. Yeah. I think we can activate the confession cam. We can go straight in on Podge because we Podge. all know that was Podge. definitely Podge. Definitely, Podge. definitely Podge. It's got Podge written all over it. All right, no. give it up for Podge and give it up for the confession cam. Thanks, everybody.
Mark. Doesn't work, Mark. Doesn't work for you. It's broken. It's grand for me, man. Not not a now, everyone's watching Game of Thrones these days, but how many of these Game of Thrones reactions do you recognise? Shift have got the answer. <laughs> I actually think I saw some with Grayscale there the other day on the Lewis. Liam Cunningham's definitely my favourite. Do you remember he was in The Ra in the Winnie Shakes to Barty? Why is Filch always a prick? Do you know who'd sort out the White Walkers? The Ra. You know Jamie Lannister with the hand? Do you reckon he like... I say he does. And Lannister always cleans his sheets. Mm -mm -mm. That's inaccurate. You see what happens in the book is actually in the book. I think you'll find out. Ah, 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 in the book, it's different. I mean, that character's not even in the books. Oh my god, sometimes I wonder, do the writers even read the books like I would religiously? I should have seen that coming. Sean Bean's a walking spoiler. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Melisandre. <laughs> Put that necklace back on. Keep an eye on him now, because a main character is about to die. Keep an eye on him, Tim. I watched it this morning. Look at that scene and tell me the two grown men are not watching porn together. That's in there. And now it's out. That Ned Stark is a bit of a legend. You can see him going the distance. That Cal Drogo's a bit of a legend now. He'll, he'll go the distance, you mark my words. Now that Rob Stark lad, he is a bit of a legend and he will go the distance. Jesus, a wedding, finally. Bit of crack, bit of laugh. Jeez! Why do they always have to do it like this? Oh my, oh, for buffering. Where do you get these strings? Oh, Khaleesi, Khaleesi, I love you. Oh, Khaleesi, she's not interested, pal. Take a hint, you creep. Did you know Daenerys isn't actually sitting on a dragon? They added that in afterwards. It's not a real dragon. Don't get the... Jesus, Ramsay. Must be Italian blood in you. There's a battered sausage. Oh, darn. Did he just mash his head in? I've stood on cream eggs and made less mess than that. Great work there from the shifts. Now, still to come up on the show this evening, we're going to be chatting to one of Ireland's brand new sporting heroes, and there's still a chance for you to win €1,000 in our game, 1000 to 1. Uh, but I'm here in the audience and feeling very special because I'm in between Emer and Podge, some of the stars of the show so far. <laughs> and also this man here beside me because it's time for our magic cover in association with Lynx. Uh, this week it's Owen McElhenney. Owen, how are you, sir? Very good, thank you. Where Cheers. have you come from to join us today? Because it's a fair old poke. Uh, down in Glingar from West Cork. Glengar from West Cork. So what's that from on the road to Dublin? How long does that take? It's good four hours anyway, yeah. Okay, Just four hours. Out. That's yeah. dedication for the magic over. We love to see that. All right, so Owen has to pick up as many likes as he possibly can during his live performance. We'll add th those to the likes that he gets when we put it up again during the week on Facebook. So you need to click like as often as possible live and when you see this man and his magic cover during the week. So Owen, tell us, what is your magic cover on the Joe Show tonight? Uh, Love Like This by Code Light. All right, let's give it up. This is Owen. Let's check out how we got it. On, on the magic cover earlier on. Running through the heat, high beats you shine like silver in the sunlight. You light up my cold heart. It feels like in the sun, the sun running around.
Hey, it's, oh, there's me. I'm on TV. How you doing? Super performance there from Owen. Great name as well. Love your name. Now, we're going to count up your likes from your performance this evening, and we're going to add those to the likes that you get for all across the week. So do keep an eye out on the Joe Facebook for uh, Owen's performance. Now, and to give you an indication of what you need to beat, we can reveal that Bark from last week's show came to a grand total of 531 likes. So, Patty, you'd like to yes, add indeed. that onto their okay. picture there. Stick them up on the leaderboard. I think I put them in. Dave Keenan's up at the top. He's got 810. The Rampart, 792. Then you got, let's see, Bark in there, 531. Excellent. And then Roadwives down there, 224, bringing up the rear. So uh, another big round of applause there for Owen Michael Henny. <laughs> right. We're delighted to be joined once again by the wonderful Joe Gorman. Joe, what's the crack? crack? I was offering Joe uh, during that performance one of the, the Black Death, but he says he's not going to take one. Why, Joe? Mm, I, I have allergies. You, you don't allergies? have allergies. Yeah, 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 I have lots of them. Has, Not anybody, the black has death. anybody seen uh, Joe Gorman on What's the Story yet? What do you think of him? <laughs> no one. Oh, <laughs> I, I heard there was loads of your friends in tonight. I thought they were actually going to say something nice about you, that but would they be obviously my hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here, anyway, what was the mission you were on this week? Uh, well, it was actually uh, different to the usual. Um, I was, you know, the centre of attention, which I hated. Obviously, we went into town, and I was uh, Belgian DJ Major Engo. We were trying to build a crowd, get as much attention as we could from the surrounding people in Temple Bar and Grafton Street, and cause a bit of a scene. But surely people aren't that gullible that they would fall You'd think for so. a made-up Belgian DJ <laughs> called... What, what so was there is name, no, there's nobody called Major, Major Engel. Engel. Where did you Ma get the name? <laughs> Major Engel. It's an anagram of my name. So Major Engel, is it yeah. an anagram of Joe it's Gorman? pretty good. So crafty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be so Very cruel good. and evil to try and fool the discerning, music-loving public of Dublin, your challenge this week is to see how well you could put across the fictional character, a fictional Belgian DJ of yeah. uh, Major Engo. All right, this is What's the Story with Joe Gorman, a.k.a. Major Engo. Let's see how we get on. This week on The Joe Show, we have Joe Gorman as Belgian DJ Major Engo. Bonjour. We also have one bodyguard. Stand aside, please. And we have two paps. Let's go. The lads are just after walking down into Temple Bar now. Uh, we're going to follow and see if uh, if this works. I don't think it's going to work. Someone's after walking up now. He's, he's getting a photo with him. He's getting a photo with him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he's after. He's just walking off now. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. You saw it, did you? Uh, I just recognised the face, but I wasn't sure who he said. No. You recognised the face, yeah. He recognised the face. I don't know. I think I think Joe actually thinks he's a celebrity. So we've made our way to George's Arcade. The lads are just walking down now. Uh, we're going to see if we can stir up a little bit of fuss around here. Maybe there's a little bit too much swag. He's doing like, that's a bit over the top, isn't it? Fuck off, fuck off. Right, so we have loads of people. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Okay, they're asking who he is. What did you think? Have you heard his music before? Yeah, I think it's awesome. <laughs> the song is I like all the songs. You like all the songs? Yes. Do you want a photo? Yeah. No problem. Oh yeah, I think he's great. I love him. You love him. I, I don't know if you know Harry Styles. He did a, a song with Harry Styles there last week. You don't know who Harry Styles is. But you know who Major Ango is, so it's okay. Oh We've been joined by none other than Major Angle, DJ Hello. Supreme. Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen, it's Major right. Angle! <laughs> so much more exciting than Joe Gorman, I have to say, Major Angle. So obviously, uh, Alex and Chris, you must be thrilled to exactly. be on the sofa beside oh Major Angle. <laughs> 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 what, what do you think of his new song, Alex? Uh, Trixie's car. Trixie's <laughs> car. <laughs> what was the thinking behind Trixie's car? Angle? It was like... Uh, 
la fast car, but <laughs> more tricksy. <laughs> yeah. you know? Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman, yeah, yeah, all the way. Uh, yeah. And yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the big collaboration on Trixie's car with... Uh, uh, with Harry. Harry. Harry, yes. Just Is Harry, Harry... Uh, uh, he goes by Harry. Harry Connick Jr. or Harry, Harry Styles? <laughs> Harry Styles. Harry Styles, sorry, okay. Harry Chic. Well, uh, He's very chic, okay. <laughs> Joe, a.k.a. Well, major, major I'm angle. I'm kind of starstruck, man. It's, it's major fine. I've got angle. It here. Um, well, listen, we're going to leave you with a parting gift. You can take one of those Black Death. There you go. And uh, please give Joe it up for, for, for Major <laughs> major Agro, hey. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> just go back to Major Angus having a, a rough time there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 it Major Angus has been replaced by uh, Joe Gorman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> East Graham. East this East is, an inst this is going up on YouTube. It's going viral. Major Ringo <laughs> having a big, a big moment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for it's time for a very special guest to join us now. <laughs> At the age of 18, she's Ireland's very first European women's sprint gold medalist, the very first at any level, win the 100 metres final at the European Championships, the Under-20 Championships, last Friday. Uh, before we chat to her, let's see how she did it. Mindset our way quickly. So too is Akpa Moses, but Mindset at the moment's got the lead. Now it's Akpa Moses and Quadro hunting her down. Akpa Moses has just got the lead, and she's taken the gold medal. Gold goes to Ireland, silver to Germany. Well, it was a breeze in their face. Forget about the times, but sheer delight on the face of Gina Akpa Moses. Ireland don't get very many gold medals, and it's been a long time since anybody from Ireland has got a sprint gold, man or woman. Gina Akpa Moses, the European under-20 champion over 100 metres, and now the steers start falling. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible performance and through the wonders of modern technology. Would you please welcome to the Joe Studio, all the way from her training camp in Birmingham, Gina Akpa Moses! <laughs> Woo! We're waving, we're waving. Well, first, first of all, we have to, everyone, congratulations, obviously. Yeah, congratulations, insane, yeah. it's unbelievable. Uh, do you have the gold medal? Is it, is it there with you, Gina? I think, uh, yes, it is. Uh, okay, she's on her laptop, all right, so there's obviously a few. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ireland! Um, well, that's probably a good place to start. What's it like to win a gold medal for Ireland, Gina? Um, yeah, it was, it was quite amazing. Oh, okay. Very overwhelming. Very overwhelming, all right. Very overwhelming, okay. yeah, yeah. We might have to parse some of this. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll fill in the blanks. If it drops out at any point, yeah, we'll just yeah. add in your sentences. So obviously, uh, you've been running for, from a very young age, and uh, you started running in Dundalk, wasn't it? Yeah. Excellent. And did you have any sporting, Irish sporting heroes whenever you were growing up? Um, yeah, I kind of looked up to Sonia. 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 She obviously won a medal. Like what I aspire to do later on. The okay. lads are filling in the gaps. <laughs> <laughs> the young offenders are filling in the gaps. Um, here, we've had, we, the line isn't the Mae West, but we'll ask you a couple of questions because obviously um, such an exciting thing to win a gold medal. Like what's your, like we're so excited to see like an Irish sprint gold medal because obviously it's never been done at any level in the women's game and it very rarely happens for the men's either. What's your goal now, Gina? What do you want to achieve? You're only 18 years of age. What would you like to do in the sport? Um, obviously, get to the Olympics. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And win all the medals. And win all, win the, medals. all the medals. <laughs> yeah. Everybody can get basically. We're not going to. I'd say this is a great <laughs> interview. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, we're. <laughs> Gina, we're having a little bit of trouble with the connection, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to say, from everybody here, we just wanted to say congratulations. We're going to be watching your progress with, like, real interest. Um, you're somebody, you're a new star in Irish athletics and Irish sport in general, and we're just so proud of you. Honestly, we're just so delighted. Everybody here is so delighted for you. We might try and get the line up, but if not, we just want to say well done from everybody in the studio. Well done. <laughs> Moses. I didn't get to ask you my ask question. question. I know my, my one, one question, which was question. like, you know, growing up running in Dundalk, did you ever call it Rundalk? Um, 
Yeah. Which is like, <laughs> this is what I would have called that it. Like, been, like, that would have been the question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, we might get back to Gene a little bit later on, but obviously the wonders of modern technology, but just to see the gold medal itself, Nailed it. that was enough for me. <laughs> uh, no, uh, obviously we, we did warn earlier on, Alex and Chris, we said earlier on we might at some stage have to return to Game of Thrones. A anybody see Game of Thrones last night? Yeah, okay. yeah Podge, straight, yeah. Hand anybody straight away. Anybody not see Game of Thrones last night and absolutely does not want to hear a single thing about it? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, there's a few people in the back yeah. row. Um, now, um, you Me. should be watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> I know I should be, but I'm not allowed to watch it. Man, it's not. We've got to talk about Game of Thrones, obviously, because, uh, it's a long for story. instance, I, <laughs> he isn't actually allowed to watch it. Uh, it's it's I mean, a diplomatic incident. But um, <laughs> we, we want to talk about Game of Thrones a little bit without giving any spoilers. Because, boys, are you watching Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah, I missed yeah. the last season, so it's probably my fault. Fault, you're okay. just a wee bit behind them. Yeah. <laughs> Not just last you, you missed the last season, so okay, you're yeah. way behind. All right, yeah. well, look at um, I can tell you that last night's sh uh, episode, which was called Stormborn on IMDb, which I'm obsessed with, I'm always going on to see exactly where it is. Obviously, Young Offenders is way up on the list, but uh, Stormborn last night rated 9.1, which compared to Dragon Stone, which was episode one from season seven, which was the week before the premiere a measly 8.7. Now, you could obviously attribute that to uh, what people are widely acknowledging now is the Sheeran factor. Ah, of course. Which is, course. Uh, it's worse than Grayscale. <laughs> yeah. It's worse than Grayscale. So for anybody, of course, that saw the episode last night, where my, where my homies at? Yeah, last night's episode. Yeah, Grayscale. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Podge knows what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I really like Podge. <laughs> I know you're a big fan of Podge. I really like Podge, you're coming back every week. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we don't want to give away any spoilers. We, we don't want to talk too much about it because obviously there are so many people that are watching and watching it back. Not illegally, obviously, because everybody's <laughs> watching not. it very legally. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way to do it. Uh, but next week's episode, it's called The Queen's Justice. It's episode three, season seven from Game of Thrones. And let's have a little sneak peek at what we can expect from next week's episode. No spoilers, though. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. The war's already begun. I've drawn first blood. First, it will be ready. They know we're coming. <laughs> not watching I like the fact that no, Owen, no, no. Chris and Alex all <laughs> hands over their eyes and blocking their ears. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Uh, not Game of Thrones season three, Definitely not. season seven episode. Now, we're moving swiftly onwards from Game of Thrones, and we promise we try and give away another €1,000. Uh, Michelle was so close earlier on, just two off winning a grand of cold hard cash that the tax man, as we said, probably can't touch. Sorry about that. But it is time to play for a second time, and we should have somebody on the line well, now. Well, before we do that, let's have a look and see, because people may have forgotten how the game Already? works. Already? Let's have a look and see how 1,000 to 1 works. This is how it works. We picked a number between 1 and 1,000. You have to guess within 20 either side to win. But here's a hint, it's a number from the news. It is indeed a number from the news. Now, we should have somebody on the line. Is it somebody Gina, right? Gina Akpamosis on the line <laughs> to bet yes. to one? Exactly. <laughs> okay, Aaron's, Aaron's on, the on the line. Hello, Aaron. How's it going? How's, How's it going? Aaron? Nice arms. Do you work out, man? <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> then you can buy yourself a personal gym with your 1,000 euro if you win it. So you know how the game works, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you got your number ready? It's Paddy holding up some fake money there. Yeah. No, Just man, to it's, it's entice really you into the number. Um, so yeah, so what's your number then? A number from the news and a number between 1 and 1,000. 600. 600. 600. All right. Oh, it's a good number. So One Aaron, favorites. if your number is the number, or 20 either side, you win for yourself a thousand euros in cold hard cash. I can tell you that the second time, the second thousand to one number, it's the price of the cheapest ticket to see Mayweather versus McGregor next August. And the price of the cheapest ticket in euro. What, it's 430 it? euro. Ah, oh, unlucky, so unlucky Aaron. Sorry about Mickey. that. Mickey, sorry about that, Aaron. I'm really Again, sorry, man. Just to make thing everything uh, make everything all right, we do have this Lynx care package to give away, though. It is a different one from the one that Michelle's getting. You don't have to share it. We do have two, so we'll, we'll, we'll give you out your own one, all right? <laughs> Take it easy, Aaron. He's gone. He's all right, happy. Bye, no, he's a happy okay, man. All right, bye, Aaron. He's uh, such it's a, a happy rude. camper. I'm glad he didn't win the 1,000 um, euro. <laughs> I'm not. 
<laughs> Wish you all luck equally. So we're about to, I think that's pretty much it. Before we go, just to ask the lads, Anton, Anton special planned for Tuesday night in Dublin, lads. Uh, you're under lock and key, is that right? It's night Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Every night's Friday night for the young offenders. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get a train at seven in the yeah. morning. So that's we might just away. do a rollover, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Get, a few, get a few more black death. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's loads of spare ones. Watch the uh, right next door to it. Don't crawl into the Don't uh, crawl in. station. Yeah. Don't get harassed. Um, no. Yeah. That's pretty much us. Uh, us. So uh, we want to say a massive thank you uh, just before we get to our last sketch, which is kind of taking a look between uh, the difference between country pubs and hipster pubs in the city. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to say uh, thanks to the Young Offenders, first of all, to Alex and Chris. Thank you very much. Uh, a big thank you to Joe, a.k.a. DJ, what was his name again? Major Angle. Major Angle, And yep. Cayman Power, of course, as well. To Shift, um, to our wonderful, wonderful, sweaty audience. <laughs> yeah, a big thank you to all of you. And, uh, <laughs> and a special round of applause to the star of the show, Podge. Podge as well, you get, you know, good man <laughs> yourself there. Andy. 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 as well. Owen Michael Hetty for his magic cover. And of course, to our sponsors, Lynx. And just a reminder that we're giving away tickets to the Lynx Find Your Magic series. That's taking place with Rob Lipset and all of his massive muscles. Uh, taking place in Dublin this Thursday, July the 27th. All you have to do is go over to Joe uh, and get the details right there. I want to say as well, thank you to Gina Ackman Moses. Not her fault, unfortunately, oh, yeah, the that, the, uh, that the technology failed us. We, we just blame technology you know every what? week. You, you know? gave him that black death earlier on. Who? That's why the technology Make, wasn't oh, working. Man, that's, that's what, what it was. was. Uh, yeah. uh, mix in, absolutely not to do with me. Yeah, <laughs> no. uh, look, thanks to all of you uh, for tuning in. We are back next Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Just to remind you that Sports Show Live is back tomorrow night. They've got a brilliant lineup. Woody is back. Lara Corbett, they've got Dahi Regan. They're in the middle of hurling season. Connor Sketches and the Rossies. Yeah, the Ross and area are in the end line challenge. We're going to say good luck and good night, and we're going to say safe home, and uh, we're going to go out and jump in a, in a pool of ice, I think, after <laughs> yeah. tonight's show. Uh, but before you, we go, we're going to leave you with this from the wart minds of Gary Carroll and Justin Stafford. Good luck. See you later. Yeah, we have two types. We have red and white. Well, depends on what you're after. Something crisp, light body, dry, fruity, buttery. Maybe something with a velvety feel. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, do you know what? I'll leave it. What do you have on tap? Yes, we have two on tap. There's Guinness and there's Guinness. Well, we got a great selection on tap, all locally sourced with outrageous hops. For example, we got Dick Tingler, Trouser Biscuit, Devil Jew, Fuzzy Fox, Knob Gobbler, Clammy Pits, Ringo's Rectum, Salty Paps, and Fleur. Would you like to sample it? Uh, yeah, I think I'll just have Guinness. Out of curiosity, what time do you close? Don't show me, don't close. That's the local guard over there will be here all night. Well, we usually stay up until about 11.29. Sometimes we even stay up until about 11.30, but we never do that. You don't want the garage on them, you know. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry, I gave you a 50? Yeah, you only had a five. <laughs>